Welcome back, folks. Come along with me as we head off to Orlando, Florida to ICAST 2021, one of the best fishing expo events known to man. Here, we test all of the latest kayaks and fishing gear. We spend an entire week here filming all the latest gear and sharing it with you guys. So give this video a thumbs up and comment below and let us know what features you're looking for in a kayak. Hey folks, welcome back to another season here of iCast in Orlando 2021. Right now I'm hanging out in the boat living room. These are all inflatable loungers this company makes and they have inflatable couches, they got inflatable docks, they got inflatable sups, you name it. This company is awesome. And right behind me, they have an inflatable pedal kayak. And we're gonna be going through all their products and talking a little bit about them, showing what they have to offer. And then you'll be able to find the links in the video description below for a little more info. So let's go. Okay, so right now we're looking at the Boat Lono Apex pedal drive system. And it's pretty sweet. And Aaron here is gonna do a run through of this new craft because quite frankly, who's gonna know it better than these guys? Okay, today we're gonna to show you the Boat Lono Apex pedal drive system. Let's start off in the front. This is the uh, Boat Apex pedal drive. Uh, it comes with a 10 to one gear ratio. Um, we have a pedal port flange and pedal port hole so you can actually see if there's any weeds or debris and also helps you pull the unit up and out of the way. We've made the uh, Apex pedal port a simple single pin system to remove, depending on how you're gonna configure it for that day. You also get with the uh, Lono a clear cover that locks into place. What's new for 2022 is we've included the Magnapod drinkware system, which locks your drink completely into place. Uh, the steering system for the Apex pedal drive system is a simple rudder steer system with a cable cord going out to the back. This also includes a kick-up fin, kick-up retractable fin system. And what we did with this is we wanted to make it universal. So if you're, whether you're a right hand fishing guy or a left hand, you can flip it over. The kayak paddle can also be mounted on both sides. Um, we did add a inflatable seat for the pedal drive because everybody's legs is just a little bit longer or shorter. This allows you to move the seat forward and back. You can also pull this seat out and use it on the grass on or on the beach afterwards and hang out in it. Um, it comes with our fishing rack and our our Kula port that you can put your coolers in or your bait bucket or whatever else you want to do. Um, and what's nice about this board is it's actually uh, almost three boards in one. It's a stand-up paddle board, it's a kayak, and it's a pedal drive kayak. So it's kind of like the hybrid of, of all three systems. Uh, weight capacity is at 300 pounds. Price point uh, retail with the Apex pedal drive is going to be $22.99. It comes with two micro pole mounts, one on the top, and then actually the steering system is mounted to another one. So let's say one day you want to have the deck off and you want to just run your micro pole and one, run really light, you have that ability to kind of swap out the systems. So these would be the G clips that mount the top deck on. There's four of them and everything can kind of open up. That'd be cool because if you were doing spear fishing, you could swim up the back of it. Exactly. So really cool. Yeah, we wanted to make a, a system that was very universal for everybody out there and they could adapt it however they, they need to for their different trips that they're taking. This is Aaron from Boat, and I'm going to run through a couple of our boards that we have here today. This is the Rackham Gator Shell board. Um, we've actually attached our new arrow seat on this one to kind of show some versatility, the ability to kind of sit down and, and paddle it like a kayak, and also to paddle it like a paddle board. The next unit we have is our 10-foot Deus kayak. One of the features I like on the Deus is the open back 
where you could swim up to it if you're scalloping, lobstering, or maybe you just have kids that want to be able to swim up to the back of the kayak. The, the back port back here actually allows for gear storage and also our coolers. And the front has a, uh, a paddle bar and some more bungees up in the front. And I see these here on the seats as well. You have them on the seats? So on our uh, daises and on our seats, we actually have a, uh, a cup that you can get. Uh, it, uh, uh, for holding uh, any of your beverages that you want. You just slide it rack in. So the receivers are already put on the on these units and you just you just buy the cup holder and it holds everything. And this is your foot? That's your foot bar. So it's adjustable. So depending on your leg length, you have three spots to stick it in. So it's a, it's a three chamber main board system and then uh, one top chamber and then one back chamber. Uh, the next one we have is the Boat Apex, or Lono Apex pedal drive system. It's the Bug Slinger model. So we've got new graphics on this one. Um, this model, like I said, is going to have the Apex pedal port. It's also going to have the new Magnapod mounts. It's going to have an aero seat integrated into it. And it's going to have a steering rudder drive system. Our next board is the Aero HD Bug Slinger model. Uh, we got new graphics for this year. This one is also inflatable, yep. Comes with a paddle sheath, uh, rack mounts in the back, power pole mounts. Uh, and then finally, we've got our Zeppelin. This is our, our new kayak that we introduced earlier this year. Um, it's a one person, it's a single and a double. Uh, it can be configured in both, in both uh, manners, uh, depending on what your use is gonna be. It also comes with the Magnapod uh, for the single use and comes with a uh, rear rack compatible. And it's got a center keel. Okay, so big thanks to Aaron here. We're gonna now try to get some of these out on the water to test them out. So, I so starting off, you will notice that the audio does not actually match the video that you're seeing here because my microphone decided to cut out. But I'm gonna to explain to you what we are looking at right now. We are looking at the Zeppelin, and this is by Boat. And you'll notice this one has large side sponsoons, like pontoons on the side. And then it has like a center flat deck, almost like an inflatable paddleboard. Uh, the one thing I will take note of and mention is the underside of this boat has a very rigid rubberized keel. And then on the bow and stern portion, it has like almost like a very thick polymer cone to protect it. So they designed this kayak with you know durability in mind like you can bounce it off of rocks you can you know potentially you know have it dragging a, a against you know stuff that you wouldn't typically want an inflatable dragging across and so that was really nice to see now i honestly thought that this particular inflatable kayak wasn't going to paddle well but i was wrong it actually paddled quite well, and I actually enjoyed paddling it. You'll notice that there's only one seat on this particular kayak, but you can add a second seat, and it can be paddled as a tandem kayak. So this is a great portable kayak option for uh, couples or people that want to go out together. So standing up on the Zeppelin was very easy. Um, I didn't find it difficult at all. Those Big side sponsoons on each side really help add a lot of stability. And so I found it to be a very stable platform. Uh, you know, if you were a family with small kids too, you know, they could easily climb back in and, and jump off and swim. Uh, it, it's just a very, very nice uh, kayak. It, it really performs well and it does better than I thought. When I saw the initial design, I thought that it wasn't going to paddle well. And I was very wrong. It actually paddled quite well. 
and I found it to be comfortable to sit on with the air chair there. And uh, yeah, it, it's a, a great, great kayak option for those that need to have portability. Maybe those that are condo owners, apartment owners, people that have small cars. Uh, you know, anyone that's looking for a portability. Uh, some people also just plain don't want to carry a very heavy kayak to the water. And inflatables definitely help solve that problem. Uh, so very cool setup. And I'll have this one linked in the video description. We're going to hop out on the boat Lono Apex next. And we got Kaya DIY towing the boat right here. If you want to see a proper demo of this boat, go check his channel. So check this out. We're able to actually even tow another kayak with the pedal drive. I just can't steer while I'm filming. So LEX, you're on your own. Bye. No! Sucker! <laughs> oh, hey, look at that's my new drone up there. The channel's doing great. We have our own helicopter drone. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. They're kind of totally different breeds. They're both inflatable. Um, the boat Lono is gonna have that instant reverse. You're gonna be able to pedal backwards. You're gonna have the higher side gunnels. It's gonna keep you drier a little bit. So if you're in a little bit you know, more chop, it'll be a little bit drier ride. Plus your gear will stay drier. Um, you also have the elevated deck platform. Um, you know, this, has maybe a little bit more versatility in terms of how you lay it out um, but performance wise in terms of speed I would say the the iTrek 9 is just slightly faster and probably has a little bit better turn radius but this platform here I think wins maybe in versatility on how you choose to rig it because you can really change the deck layout significantly so um, that's kind of my stance is they're two kind of totally different uh, inflatable pedal kayaks and so my opinion is when it comes to the Hobie iTrek series of pedal uh, inflatable kayaks that is maybe slightly better performance in terms of speed and turning radius but I think the boat Lono really shines in the fact that it still pedals incredibly well. In fact, better than some uh, rotomoldy kayaks, but it has more versatility in how you lay out the deck and it's gonna be a little bit drier ride um, than the Hobie iTrek series. So it just depends on what you want. One is not better than the other. It's just catering to a person that wants different things. So when paddling it, you're gonna to wanna to have the rudder either up or in the down position. So that, that way you get some better tracking. Paddling, it's just a little bit slow. It's not like an inflatable paddle board in terms of speed. So, but it's faster than my Feel Free Mokin, um, which is a fishing roto molded plastic kayak. So it's faster to paddle and easier to paddle than my Feel Free Mokin, but it, uh, it actually is slower than an inflatable paddle board. So uh, being able to stand up is easy. So here we're able to stand up on it easily. I can paddle it in the standing position. In fact, I think paddling it from the standing position actually is easier. So if you live on the water, the easy dock system is a really cool kayak launching system. 